Hello video mob, back to another Rambrook 6 minutes or less review. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Lego Modulus Bookstore. This is set number 10270 and has, has 2,504 pieces. Okay, so today we're going to start with the exterior first and then we'll go to the interior. So, we can see we have this um, teal -y, um sort of building and then we have this red and orange building. Now, a good thing about this as well as the pet shop, um, you can actually split it apart. So, if I just do that, you can split it apart. And I'm going to take advantage of that by doing it one by one. So, now we have this little tealy blue building. So, if you can see down the bottom here, we have some stairs. Down there, we have some stairs and a flower bed and that sort of stuff. Then we have this little window door that actually opens inwards. I must have built it wrong. This door that opens inwards and 107 up here. And then we also have this little lamp. Then we have this nice design at the top and then we we'll move around to the back. We see this little skylight, veggie bed down here. And also this door here, which opens inward, outward, sorry. Then at the top we have a balcony with a little, with a little, um, little flowers and then some chimneys on the top. Okay, so with this building, it's not just splitting apart, it also, this top floor also comes off strangely. So as you can see, now we have two parts to the top floor. Move that out of the way and we'll start with these two parts. So in here you can sort of see a little bed, a little bed there and a lamp there. Nothing much. And what's on the other side, literally just a wall. Okay, so together like so. Okay. Second building interiors. Interior. So as you can see, we've got the veggie patch at the back. And then if we move up, I'm actually able to take this off and show you another part. So as you can see, we have sort of like a table. Um, a fireplace, stairs that go up to the top. You can see there's actually a door here and some hangers which are done very well. And then also the fireplace and then this also little cabinet of a sort. So if I was to go through that door, again I would end up down here in the basement. So this is the last floor and smallest floor of this. And you can see we have a little mouse trap there, might be a bit hard to see. And then also a ladder and then out the back we have some um some stairs to get back up or down and then a sack and um scissors and then also if you might be able to see sack and scissors and then a little door to get in all right now let's move to the second building here so this is the building that this set is named after birch books because there is a birch tree and it is a bookstore. It also has these little Technic pieces, which if I take this tree out, you can see little Technic pieces and how they've used it very well, because this type of birch tree has little black spots in it. Now, taking this out properly, you can sort of see the design of the front and here, which is very nice, and then some basic windows. Round to the back, we have a little seating area on the balcony and then just this little door that goes in through the back through this brief review we've got this door so this door this floor so if we go inside we've got nothing much on this and again it's a very strange way they did the top floor as it splits open like such and then as you see here we have a bed tank or like a aquarium sort of thing for this little chameleon Putting that aside, that little floor aside, we move to this second floor. So as you can sort of see now, this is the second floor, taking it off, and this is the floor you're reviewing now. Now, so in here we have a grandfather clock, which I am, which you can't take it out because it is inbuilt. And you can sort of see it, it's sort of hard to see. I'll try my best to take it out. Okay, so with some fiddling, I was able to get this grandfather clock out. And it is quite basic, but it's pretty cool. So as you can see, it sort of had to get out of the wall. As you can see, here's the stairs that go up to the final floor. And then you've also got this little couch here, which has a forward and back, which has a forward and back headrest. 
Okay, now moving to the final floor. Here, we have this little atrium, you could call it. Take that off, which I believe you are meant to be able to do. And we have a little book place. Move that aside. M remove this tree once again. And we have here. So we can we can see we have these little stairs that go up to here, that go up to the second floor. Then we have this little counter and then a bookshelf out the back. Okay, so that is it for the six minutes or less review on the Lego Modulus bookstore. And I if you enjoyed this make sure to like and if and if you liked it a lot and want to see more reviews of my kind, then make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching everybody. Now there will be a link in the description for the full detail review of this Lego bookstore.